Hi everyone, it's Lauren here. Today I'm going to be talking about some things you can do whilst we're in lockdown. Because I know for a lot of people it's like, oh, I'm another lockdown again. What am I going to do? How can I keep myself motivated during the winter? Well, I've came up some tips of advice and things you can do while you're in this second lockdown. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So number one, you can play a game console. That you, can, like, you can play the Wii, Xbox, um, Nintendo Switch, whatever kind of game you have, or even just like a game on your phone. In general, I love playing games because I feel like it's just such an escape from like real life. And I love playing games on my phone. I love playing the Wii Fit for exercise. So yeah, I'd say playing a game can really take your mind off real life. So I really recommend like playing a game and just taking your mind off it, especially when it's like cold and everything. It's quite nice to do that. Number two, go out for a walk. I think it's very important to get exercise, especially in times like these. Going out and getting fresh air can really clear your head and make you feel so much better. And the thing is, you are actually allowed to meet one other person from another household at the moment. So if you wanted to, you can meet like your best friend nearby or something, go on a walk together for a couple of hours. And this could really help with people's mental health and make you feel so much better and gives you a break from your house and gives you a bit of time with someone else, which is quite nice. I mean, also don't be silly and meet up in a big group or something, but meeting with one person is completely in the guidance. So if you want to go out and meet one person, just for mental health reasons, you have a break from your family or whoever you're living with, then yeah, why not? Like, But yeah, I think it's a lot of good for mental health just going out for a walk in general. So I definitely recommend going out and getting fresh air. Don't just stay in the house all the time. Number three, if you want to, you can catch up on college and uni work. Like if you've got a lot of outstanding work to still get done after Christmas that you didn't manage to get to before Christmas, this is time to get it done, to get it done well. Like you have so much time in your hands you can get so much work done. So I definitely recommend getting ahead of your work. And obviously this is good because it means that you have an even higher chance of making it onto the next level of your course or going to uni at whatever you want to do next year. So I recommend that. Number four, I couldn't even get my fingers up there. <laughs> if you if your friend doesn't live nearby or anything, you can always give them a video call. Like just giving your friends and, and family a video call in general can make you feel so much better. Don't just keep your thoughts to yourself, make sure to reach out to people and tell people how you're really feeling. In this video chat, someone can make you feel so much better. So I re definitely recommend video chat and someone, obviously don't stare at your screens all the time, you'll start to hurt your eyes. But doing this every so often can be very good for your mental health and make them feel happier too. Number five, you can like learn a new skill. Like for example, I'm trying to get better at doing my makeup at the moment. So when I go on nights out again, I'll be much better at doing my makeup. So I'm trying to get better at doing eyeshadow and doing different kinds of makeup. Since for Christmas, I got a Studio London advent calendar. So I've been experimenting with all my makeup and that. But yeah, just learning a new skill can be really, really good and really, really handy. So I definitely recommend that if you want to, you can use this time to like learn a new skill, whatever you want to do. If that's getting better at reading, writing a story, um, knitting, um, do makeup like me. Just learning a new skill can be really good and it can pass the time by. As soon as you know, when you start doing something, whoa, the time's going like that. So it's definitely a good idea. And yesterday I paint my nails, painting your nails can be a nice chill out task. Just anything, just doing a new skill, doing something you haven't learned yet. Like for example, you want to learn a new language and you haven't the time to do that. There's the time to do it, you know, so there's, there's always learning a new skill if you're like really bored and you want to do something. So that's my lockdown tip video for today. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this and I really hope that this will come handy to you and you might think of things now and think, oh, I really want to learn that now. Oh, I really want to go out and get some exercise now. So I really hope I give you guys some ideas to keep yourself occupied during lockdown and to make the time go faster. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will get through lockdown. It may be really hard at the moment, but just remember to keep being there for each other and just remember that nothing lasts forever. And even though this feels like it's going forever, it will eventually end. We will eventually make it to the other end. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. And yeah, bye for now.